I'm here with my partner, uh, Sophia Bowdish, at the Codebase podcast studio, where Sophia has been incredibly patient as I try to get everything set up. And we are going to do a new segment for the Setting Trick podcast. It is called Event Review. And this is a this is an abridged. Uh, this is not a long, although I'm talking a lot for not being long. Uh, and so, Sophia and I. Can I call you Sophie? You can. Okay, so Sophie <laughs> and I uh, played together in our District Six Grand National teams. Yes. And uh, this story kind of started uh, in September of twenty. 22, when I played against you and your mother at the World Championships in Wroclaw, Poland. And at the time, you were living in Poland. Yep. And then in May of last year, 2023, uh, I went to the local bridge club, and lo and behold, you and your mom showed up. Well, we uh, we had it on our agenda to just show up at a <laughs> local tournament in Charlottesville. We were visiting a uh, family in the Midwest, and my mom thought it would be a good idea to come out to Charlottesville because I knew that I was going to be moving to Charlottesville in July, and my mom thought it would be a good idea to drive over for 12, 12 hours <laughs> to, <laughs> to check out Charlottesville and to kind of find my uh, pockets in Charlottesville. And of course, we checked out the local bridge club. And that's where we met. And uh, Do you remember what I said? <laughs> I, I do. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I mean, it was a pretty unique situation to have like these two seemingly Polish women uh, in at the J Jefferson Bridge Association in Charlottesville. Well, yeah, that's true. Um, and it, it's like, and, you know, it's in the middle of the States. Like, what would we be doing there? Um, we had a similar situation. We met a Polish uh, player, uh, um, Kazimierz from Maronink, maybe. Maybe. I don't I don't know he's, if he's very well known in the States. But um, my mom and my brother went to a local club in Indiana, and they walk in, and he's there, and oh, we're wow. like, and it was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so yeah. So uh, you know, I introduced myself. I uh, took you guys out to dinner that night. We hit it off, and uh, it came. You know, since you're moving to Charlottesville, I was like, let's play uh, in some of the local stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, you weren't eligible. Uh, I don't think you had a qualifying. You didn't have a qualifying because you were in Morocco in August. And so yes. I don't think you had a qualifying to play in the uh, North American pairs. Yeah. So, but we got you qualified for the GNT. Yes. And uh, that was a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but the thing was, is we were sort of having a hard time uh, finding teammates. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember, I think November, I don't remember who we reached out to who, but um, we ended up playing on a six-man team with Mark Dahl and Bill Newman and Fred King and Bob, and I don't remember the last Bell. name. Bob Bell, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And... Uh, we uh, we played the first weekend uh, with only two pairs because Mark and um, well Mark was out of the country as far as I remember yeah uh, and uh, we played with um, Fred and Bob and we qualified second and advanced to the next weekend the following weekend which was in February and we played uh, Team Marshall in the semifinals and then we played. Robinson in the final. Well, you're just you're just cutting right to everything. <laughs> yeah. So yep. So one of the features of the event review uh, format here is uh, like funniest sort of instance <laughs> from uh, the event, and uh, so I'll share one, and then you can share one. Okay. And so mine was 
in the qualifying, uh, there were supposed to be originally 11 teams, but one team had to drop out because a player was sick. Mm-hmm. And uh, that player is a fellow named Rick Bingham. And Rick's team uh, last year, as sort of an underdog, uh, came in second in the qualifying. Wow. And one of the rules that they have is that the first place team doesn't – like there's four teams qualify for the semifinals. And the first place team gets to choose the third or fourth team. Mm-hmm. But they don't have to play the second place team unless they want to. Mm-hmm. And so uh, what what we learned at the qualifying weekend was that <laughs> the previous year, uh, Robinson qualified first and I think Rick's team qualified second. And uh, they – Rick's team wanted to play the Robinson team who's like perennially won this event mm-hmm. uh, at, our, at our district level and, you know, has world champions, multiple world champions on the team. And so they wanted to play uh, the, the Robinson team in the, in the semifinals for the experience. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened is they beat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got the experience. <laughs> And so then uh, the team that we joined, uh, Bob and Fred and Bill and Mark, actually beat the Bingham team in the finals. Mm-hmm. So they uh, they represented our district last year. But as you said, uh, Mark was in Africa, so they mm-hmm. couldn't play in the qualifying. And uh, you had suggested that I reach out to Mark because you knew him from a sectional, that he was a strong player in the area. You did. You did. I d- Yes. And <laughs> so I did. And originally they were looking for, you know, helping us find other people, but then they needed a pair and we were, we had sort of, you know, we we're like, okay, great. We're in for the experience. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, okay. So, uh, now you get to share what you, was your favorite, uh, your most amusing, uh, anecdote. From My the- most amusing anecdote. Um, I remember walking into the playing area, and this is like, I think even before we started, and people are like figuring out their convention cards and like, you know, getting tea and coffee and whatnot, and I overhear this couple at one of the tables, and the woman is like, don't forget Drari, just like the convention. Don't forget that we played that. Okay. (laughs) We're in for the experience. So, (laughs) yeah. Um... It kind of like the whole GNT experience kind of reminds me of the league that I used to play in Poland. I mean, there's less bridge because in Poland we like to kill ourselves and play 72 boards a day. Um, But uh, like the format and the fact that you have to qualify for a weekend is similar to what I was used to in Poland. But there's more teams in Poland. Yeah. So. And and for context, uh, last year I played in the GNT. And uh, we just played in the round robin. It was a completely different team, and we finished dead last. So this year, we qualified second. We did get blitzed by the Robinson team Mm -hmm. in the uh, qualifying. And uh, they flipped a coin uh, for who they – they didn't know which third place or fourth place team they wanted to play. So they flipped a coin. And frankly, I was glad that we got to play the Marshall team as opposed to the other team. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you in particular wanted to play one pair on the uh, – maybe we won't include this in the episode <laughs> or not, but uh, – I don't think I should share my uh, <laughs> tactics <laughs> to my potential opponents at the GN2 finals in Toronto. Um, I won't say anything now. Okay. But yes, there was a specific pair that I wanted to play, and it mattered more to me in the final rather than in the – semifinal because I, I I mean I didn't really know the people that we play I, I mean I played against them in the round robin but I didn't know like anything else about them other than the seven boards that I played against them in the round robin mm. yeah so and Sophie uh, is a confident uh, woman at the bridge table I will say uh, she has won two European women's championships she's won she wins a medal basically every year, uh, as she told me on the car in the car on the way here. 
Uh, so you were all business um, in oh, the yes. final. Oh, yes. And uh, there was a point. So the, so Mark and uh, Bill had to play all the boards in the final because they hadn't played in the qualifying. Yeah. And so we, we, we played the first and second half of the final. And uh, there was a point in the first quarter when we missed us. We went down in a slam. Uh, and uh, I was just a little bit a little frazzled from a, a couple of bad results and uh, and you were you know you were like you had the look of determination on your face which I really hadn't <laughs> seen you know at the local sectionals you'd never really gotten that locked in I don't think you know you weren't really fully in your <laughs> tigress mode well <laughs> Yeah, fair. Um, well, I mean, it's a kind of it's a different it's a different setting comparing a sectional and yeah GNT finals. That's true. But uh, yeah, I, I try not to get um, focused on even if I get a bad result. It's you know you play till the end, and I've seen a fair number of matches that would turn around even within the last set. So yeah, just stay focused the whole time and. Don't lose imps and uh, yeah. So the so the so the the finals and semifinals were played in in Northern Virginia, which was about a two hour drive from Charlottesville, mm -hmm. and uh, so we played the first and second quarter. Um, we we play like full day matches, and I was amazed. In Texas, apparently, they only do one day of GNT qualifying. Like the whole shebang is one day. Oh, okay. And so we're we're getting pretty close to Charlottesville. Like we're we're in Charlottesville. And uh, Sophie is a little, uh, you know, starting to doubt, starting to, you know, like it's kind of time when we think it's probably over. And and uh, what were you know what what were you, what were you thinking? Um, well, I was kind of surprised that our teammates hadn't reached out, and like the t time wise, this should have been done like about a half an hour already. And it's like, oh no, they've lost. So we, when we left, a bit of context, when we left, we had like a six imp lead, but I mean, we had, we were down by six after the first set and then we were up by six after the second set. So it was a pretty close match from what I could tell. Um, and then we get a phone call and by, and it was Bill and like by the tone of his voice, I could tell that we were, we had won. Like you, you can kind of sense it. Um, yeah, and he's like, oh, yeah, we won. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, no, I mean, I, we were originally joking in the car, and uh, you mentioned that um, they wouldn't say anything and call us in three days' time <laughs> and, say, <laughs> and say, oh, yeah, by the way, we won. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> um, the other thing that was amusing uh, was uh, – they had five people on the team. There were six people originally in the qualifying, yeah. and then Peter Boyd, who's been Steve Robinson's partner forever, um, fortunately has uh, gets dialysis, so he he wasn't going to be able to go to the uh, Toronto, mm -hmm. and uh, so Steve was like playing. I think he was like going over the convention card with uh, with Bill Cole, and uh, Steve said, "We play like a new suit is forcing after we preempt." <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, like when your opponents are having that discussion <laughs> before like, you play, like that can't be bad. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Well, I mean, it could it can be bad. It can be it not it, I mean, it can't it doesn't necessarily have to be bad cuz um I once switched partnerships during a championship and it turned out for the best. Like it, I mean, it was a junior event, so I mean, a lot of stuff can happen at, at a junior event. But um, yeah, 2018, we were we needed a bit of shuffling on the team, and I changed my partner in the round robin, and then I went back to my original partner in the knockout stage. So, and y'all won. We won the silver medal. Mm. Yeah. Uh, were there any hands that were particularly memorable for you from the uh, from the either either of the qualifying or the Semifinals and finals. Mm. I remember the slam hand that we went, we went down in the in the final. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> slams were not made at our table. We went down in a slam, and then the following segment, our opponents bit a slam off two aces, 
And I remember thinking, because the opponents had an auction and they ended up in six clubs and you were thinking on lead and you led the ace of hearts and Demi came down with six clubs, king doubleton of hearts, four spades and a stiff diamond. And I'm looking at queen fifth of hearts and I'm like, oh no, this was the hand that you had to underlead the ace of hearts to set it. And the guy would not guess it because he's got jack dub in his hand, or like jack ten or something. And so I follow suit and then you cash the ace of diamonds. So I was like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Slams were not made at our table. Um, I don't remember if, I, can't, I don't remember any significant boards from the, um, qualifying round you know bit our games and we had a lot of high card points we did not stay in two diamonds um got the game um there was a grand slam where uh i played it and uh i had like a lot of options of how to make my 13th trick and uh um this is probably the most memorable aspect from the qualifying for me was that uh I ended up cashing my tricks in the wrong order, and it ended up just having to take a hard finesse, which was which was odd. And so I made it, but it was kind of – it was a little bit of embarrassing because I had so many ways, and I just – I did not – I was not able to foresee the eventual ending that uh, I thought I I thought I could. And, and uh, probably the most memorable for me was – was just uh, we drove home from – this was in Maryland, and we drove home that Sunday, and uh, they just bid six diamonds at the other table, so we want to mm -hmm. swing on this board. Uh, but uh, you were talking through the hand uh, and, like, all the different ways to play it and all, uh, that as well as a couple a couple other ones. And it was just apparent to me, like, just how I was – I was really, Im like, impressed with how you could do that and uh, – it made me want to uh, challenge myself more. And so I did – I started doing the uh, virtual bridge championships uh, books from Martins, Martins yep. um, which is something I think you mentioned uh, mm -hmm. during that. I highly recommend it. Yeah, the my mom actually kind of suggested that book to me and I started reading it. But she did it when she tried out for the women's in 2010. This was before she was playing with me. Uh, she tried out for the women's team in Poland, and uh, the format was was that you had to go to, like, I think two or three weekends and play. Everyone played together, the Open, the women's, the senior, and, well, we did, there was no mixed category back then. Uh, and um, she had just um, done a problem that day that was like a jettison play. And she was playing against these two guys from the Open team, and she – one of them made a lead and she looked at the dummy and it took her like 15 seconds to do it. Mm. And the guy, the guy was like going around telling everyone and it took her only 15 <laughs> seconds to do it. Yeah. So highly recommend it. Yeah. And actually if anyone is interested, Martins is actually doing a, uh, like a webinar, um, on declare play. You have to speak Polish. But uh, I mean, <laughs> who if doesn't? you do speak Polish, yeah, <laughs> then uh, yeah. No, he's doing a lot of interesting problems. I, he maybe he's going to publish them in some format. I haven't really looked into it, but I've been doing I've been doing these webinars with him every week. And, oh, yeah. oh, the Declare Play mm -hmm. webinars. Yeah. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So watch out, those of you who are qu also qualifying in the Open GNTs, uh, we're coming. <laughs> yes fully equipped and uh drury and uh <laughs> <laughs> and one last thing your parents uh oh yeah this is actually well okay i didn't i didn't even know that the gnts existed because you, you told me about this i don't remember in september or something and i told my parents that i'm gonna be playing in this gnt and my dad's like you're playing in the GNT? I was like, yeah. And he's like, um, where's the like the final going to be? And I'm like, Toronto. And he's like, really? <laughs> we qualified for the final. Well, they, okay, they played in final B, 
but they qualified for Toronto in the 80s. I don't remember which year exactly. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of following in my parents' footsteps, which is which is nice. How did they do in final day? I don't remember. They they didn't win. But um, yeah, but they I think they they may have qualified. I don't I don't I don't know. I'm sure my dad knows. He'll probably remember a hand from the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. Anything else? I don't think I can. I don't remember any other funny, amusing stories. Well, I know. Well, I, <laughs> I do. Yes. So when we were playing the semifinal and like when I came originally to Charlottesville, like none of the people here knew me other yeah. than other than you. Um, and I, got, I would get a lot of welcome. How long have you been playing bridge? And are you one of the UVA bridge kids and like whatnot? Um, and uh, when we were playing the semifinal, uh, Steve Robinson was going around the playing area and saying, like, oh, she plays for Poland. And then he walks up to me and he says, you play for the Polish junior girls, right? I was like, well, I did, yes. <laughs> I haven't been on the junior team for four years, but I'll take that as a compliment. So, yeah, that was kind of – and that was, like – it was different for me because I was so used to people not knowing who I was for in like the local area. And then I come to the final of a GNT and Steve is going around the room and telling everyone I play for the Polish team. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Uh, he was one of two kibitzers that we, <laughs> that we, <laughs> we, bo- that we barred. <laughs> we were told to leave the table. I'm so sorry. It was not, by no means personal. <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of. Kibitzers, kibitzers generally don't bother me, but I think it was maybe I don't know the acoustics in the area, or it was pretty. It was very cold in the room that I remember. So, all right. Well, we are going to Toronto, and uh, yeah, yeah. Be on the lookout if you're going to be our opponents. Yeah, we look forward <laughs> to that. All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me.